Alright guys, how's it going? Uh, this is going to be pickup video number 13 today. Um, yeah, I'm having to record from this angle again because if I go this way, the light in the background, it kind of, it looks strange, you know, it kind of uh, messed up the quality a little bit. Um, it's hard to record at night time when the, when the light's not shining through, you know, but um, during the day I have to record um, from this angle, you know. Uh, so yeah, pick up video number 13, uh, not about much, as, as usual guys, you know, I, I don't really, I only do a pick up video when I've got like three games or something, I don't really do much. Um, but I've got, I've got uh, four games here, plus, uh, plus something else to show you at the end, okay? So we'll start off with the PS3 games, two PS3 games, and one PS1 game. So we'll start off with uh, the PS3 games, first one I got is brand new, uh, uh, at Curry's. It is Tiger Woods PGU Tour 11 and that was a £9.97 which I actually thought it was a really really good deal because it was brand new and the online activation code hadn't been used it's obviously been new and I had been wanting it a while because the last uh, golf game I've got is 2009 and I usually buy sports games you know two years after uh, apart from FIFA and uh, Smackdown as well which I get uh, bought from me every year you know uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably and I, now I'll probably wait until until Tiger Woods 13 or 14 comes up and then get that because uh, it's never one year later. It's, it's usually just the same game but change uh, change things slightly. There's a few things I like about this. Um, a few things I'm disappointed about. There's a lot of a lot of golfers in it, but they just don't have the game. I, don't, I just the man to get licensed for them like uh, Ernie Els, uh, Phil Mickelson. They've never been in a a golf game up to this point. Um, I mean, Phil Mickelson. He's a, a great golfer. You know, he's one of one of, one of my favourites actually. Uh, Phil Mickelson. Uh, we've not put him in the game. And in previous games, I've had John Daly. Um, John Daly's not in this game. Neither is uh, Stuart Appleby, Charles Howell the um, third, Rich Beam. They've got rid of a lot of golfers, and they've added a lot of people like uh, Maple. We call him Rory Maple. Uh, Maple Rory. Um, I've added a lot of good, uh, what are golfers in it, you know, but, you know, they have a few fantasy golfers, have some guy dressed up like a bunny suit called Rockzilla, I mean, that's stupid, man. You could, you could easily have added a, a professional golfer in there instead of a stupid, uh, fantasy character. Uh, granted, uh, the fantasy characters for me actually worked in 2000, they actually did work in 2006 and 2004, but in, in the newer game, I just don't think they'll work. Uh, what I love about this game, the, the graphics, you know, they look so damn realistic, you know, it's the best golf game I've ever played for uh, for how good it looks, you know, it took me ages to get into the, use of the, into the way the controls, because they were, they were kind of confusing actually, uh, I kept hitting the ball squinting that, but then I uh, I realised you have to go to your club tuner and then lower your uh, power, but uh, that increases your, accur your, your uh, accuracy. I don't have accuracy and power uh, most of the time, you know. Uh, so yeah, guys, overall, great game. Looks stunning in HD and um been playing that I have a lot. But I've kind of off it at the moment, but I think I'll go back to it. Next game is a purchase of eBay. Need for Speed Pro Street. There we go. I think this is like £2.50. Uh, roughly £2.50. Including the postage and that. So, uh yeah, I used to have this on the PS2. Uh, definitely, I used to think it was definitely not one of the best Need for Speed games. I actually sold it uh, a couple of years ago, about two months after I had it, you know, for the PS2. I just thought it wasn't very good at all, you know, uh, boring and stuff. Uh, so we bought it, I thought I'd rebuy it for the PS3. It looks a lot better. Uh, still my least favourite of the Need for Speed games, but um, not, actually not as bad as I remember it. And I'm actually going to say this game, has, this Need for Speed, has probably got the best soundtrack as well, you know. You've got Block Party, you've got Avenged Sevenfold. Come on, you love a bit of Avenged Sevenfold, you know. You know, it's got a really, really kick-ass soundtrack in it. So, um, Neon Plastics and stuff, really good soundtrack. And, um, you know, I, I, I do, I, I play like an event, which event features like four or five races. I play in them and I start to get a bit bored, but it's alright just for like, you know, put it on for an hour, half an hour or something, you know, you have a little bit of fun with it. 
so yeah, I do intend to to uh, fully play uh, play through this game, but like I say, it's my least favourite Need for Speed. But it doesn't mean it's a bad game. I still think it's a decent game, and um, just not my just just the least favourite of the Need for Speed series for me. The clues are a lot better in that, you know, with such a kick-ass soundtrack. You know, you should have made the game a lot better, you know, <laughs> and been the full package. Right, so next is a charity shop pickup, and I've actually noticed two or three people on YouTube lately have actually bought this at a charity shop, uh, which I thought was pretty hilarious, you know. Uh, Andre got it at a charity shop, and so did I Butson. Sorry, dude, I can't remember the number. Uh, but, uh, I Butson and uh, Andre. They both, both got tech. Uh, well, I'm not even sure you know, I just haven't mentioned it. Uh, Tekken 2. They both got that out of a charity shop. Uh, it's 99, oh 99p. Uh, Andre got it for 199, I think, and iBotson also got it for 99p. Uh, basically, the reason why I, oh, hold on. Hold on. Shit, it's all ready. The reason why I bought this, because uh, I needed a new disc. Uh, there's my disc, guys. Look, my old disc covers. You can see it's a bit, uh, you know, the top of it's a bit scraped off, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna. Sh I, I keep showing people this, but there's no point because you can't see it. But it is scratched to hell. When you try and play a game, it freezes. It either freezes or when you go into a match, it uh, doesn't play any music. It just keeps skipping like a body, like a stuck record. It's terrible. So when I seen this in Charter Shop, I just had to get it, you know, for 99p as well, you know. And you can see it comes complete. I forgot to say Need for Speed and well obviously they're in good condition here. Uh, the golf game obviously being brand new. Well, Need for Speed's in great condition as well, just like new real. Uh it's got it's actually got a few scratches, quite a few scratches on this as well, but not near as deep as that one as my old copy. Uh manual's in is in great condition actually as you can see there. Uh, yeah. Great condition, a few little bits at the back, little scuffs at the back, but it's nothing real, you know. And it also comes with an uh, Autumn Christmas Releases Demo Disc. Which I'm not too fussy about Demo Disc, it's got Crash Bandicoot, um, I think what it's all got, and that froze for a second, hope that's okay in the video. It's got Crash Bandicoot, it's got, it's got, it's got some other games, I just cannot remember guys. Uh, but yeah, it's a demo disc, and then... Um, Sorry, I suppose. I think it's got. I think it's got um, Tekken 2 or Tekken 3 on the actual demo. I'm not really sure, guys, actually. <laughs> um, don't take my word for that. Uh, so, yeah, guys, Tekken 2. Uh, great game. Not, personally, not as good as the third one, in my honest opinion. But it's still a classic game, and I would have paid 2 or £3 to get this back, you know, because it's a really fun game. Favourite character in it would be Devil or Kazuya. They're awesome guys. <laughs> um, so that's that, but um, you may have noticed there's one game missing, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. But this is a non-game pickup, just to um, get some time on I suppose. Uh, it was came in handy for the college, I'm, I'm finished college now, uh, until next year, get like, 8 weeks off or something, which is bloody amazing, <laughs> plenty of free, uh, free time. So I thought I'll get this just for... Um, it came in handy uh, for college at the end of the year, so it'll come in holiday. Uh, come in holiday. Come in handy for college next year as well, and it is a stapler. Stapler. Um, I need to stop doing that high voice. Seriously. Yeah, it's a stapler. Uh, I got it about three, three pounds or something at W H Smith. And I'm shooting things all over the place. Uh, yeah, stapler. I just thought it would come in handy, you know. So yeah, stapler. Okay guys, I'm going to take you through to the living room now, because I've got something I want to show you. Yeah. Alright guys, so you might notice a change in quality. Uh, this is my, my phone. Uh, I didn't want to bring my laptop through here, it saves a lot of uh, hassle to be honest. Uh, so I managed to get on eBay for about £58, that was with free postage, a Philips CDI player. Now, most of you guys might not even know what a CDI player actually is. It was narrowly a... Uh, uh, consoles at least about 1991 or something. Um, it was, you know, it was early, and I used to play this uh, a lot when I was younger, along with the Sega Mega Drive. Not quite as much as the Sega Mega Drive, 
but my dad, uh, my dad and my mum and all, I used to have a shot on it, you know, and I used to play it when I was younger, and it was a real blast, you know, I really, really loved it. Uh, but recently, um, well a year ago actually, not recently, when I moved house, uh, I had to ha um, put some stuff in the attic. This wet in the attic, when I brought it down, it couldn't, it didn't read any discs. So I'm guessing putting it up in either, either the move, unless it got bumped, maybe, or being in the attic so long, it maybe uh, knackered it. So it was a shame. Um, but I um, got one, like I say, £58. Cause you might wonder, guys. Not there's not actually many of these actually going around actually uh, on eBay or anything, you know, because it's a pretty. Uh, not many of them got sold. It was a it's supposed to be one of the worst consoles of uh, of all time, which I highly disagree because I think it's got some pretty fun games for it. Um, so guys, uh, a game that I bought for it, I bought this for it, uh, Kefir. I bought it for like two pound ten. It's basically you have to do fly in a spaceship and at the end of the level, you have to like avoid obstacles and stuff. And then the level you get a puzzle and you have to like explore some kind of labyrinth. Uh, a fun game, I used to play this when I was younger but I don't know what happened to it so I bought it back for £2.10. Anyway, it also comes, it also came, CDI also came with this controller free so I've never actually used this controller before um, until recently. And cause that's, that's the controller I used to use. It. These all come battery operated, you know. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to show you it in action, guys, just in case uh, not many of you know what it, uh, what it's actually like. No, actually, guys, I changed my mind. I tell you what, I'm going to do. I'm going to actually make uh, a new video, okay? Because there's a lot of things uh, about the CDI I actually want to show you. I mean, you get a gun, okay? You get a gun. Uh, for, you can play like shooting games. Like it's like if you're shooting like real people, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do an entire, uh, entire video on the CDI. Uh, on this channel, I'll show you some gameplay and tell you some my thoughts on the game, some of the games. Um, I just think it'll be a really interesting video to make because there's not a huge amount of CDI stuff actually on YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of people that have like reviewed the games and stuff, you know. And I know Dan Central, and I uh, you probably know Dan Central. He did a uh, I'm reviewing some of the games and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I might just make a whole video talking about the CDI and showing you some gameplay and stuff. Uh, it might be quite interesting, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for you guys. I'm running out of time. That's basically why. And I'll see you all later. See you guys. Take care.